everyone welcome to today's presentation on bioshots where you get in demand video lectures full of informative content i am neela mishra going to present a video on a contemporary topic of biohydrogen on request made by aspiring students of renewable energy the topic is extremely relevant because hydrogen is attracting growing interest from a variety of sectors and stakeholders as a potentially valuable decarbonization tool in this presentation i will focus on three main points first what is biohydrogen followed by the major methods employed for biohydrogen production and finally i will talk about the challenges with respect to biohydrogen it would also be interesting to know why biohydrogen has an edge over green hydrogen before i proceed to tell you about biohydrogen let me give you a brief overview of renewable energy scenario in india as we all know india is currently undergoing a transition to clean low carbon renewable sources of energy at an unprecedented pace and scale renewable energy technology is undoubtedly a better option than present fossil fuel based energy systems however it is not a one stop solution for all our energy problems furthermore it is also not a sufficient measure to achieve emission reduction targets as visualized in the paris agreement therefore additional efforts are required to reduce greenhouse gas emissions because the goal post has recently changed after cop26 in glasgow from merely reducing ghg emissions to achieving net zero emission by 2070 the need of the r is an efficient fuel with zero carbon footprints according to international energy agency iea hydrogen is described as a versatile energy carrier that can substitute fossil fuels with a promising future however the commercialization of hydrogen as a fuel faces severe challenges in terms of technological economic and environmental feasibility of conventional methods of hydrogen production presently more than 98% of hydrogen for industrial scale application in india is produced from fossil fuels therefore hydrogen cannot be considered today as a carrier of green energy government of india is focusing on green hydrogen which may become game changer for achieving net zero targets if you are interested to learn more about green hydrogen watch a video on hydrogen energy mission available on my channel theoretically the path of using green hydrogen energy seems to be workable but practically there are numerous challenges and bottlenecks at present green hydrogen is expensive to produce and accounts for just 0.1% of worldwide hydrogen production in addition the availability of sufficient water and green electricity is critical for sustainable green hydrogen production each kilogram of green hydrogen requires about 8.92 liters of demineralized water water is a valuable and a limited natural resource having multiple applications it may lead to possible water uses conflicts and eventually water scarcity in india which is already water stressed due to changing weather patterns and repeated droughts in this context biological techniques for hydrogen synthesis can effectively address these limitations and have all the potential to replace current hydrogen production technologies relying heavily on fossil fuels in other words biohydrogen is viewed as a strong candidate in the energy economy which has an edge over green hydrogen and will play most crucial role among other biofuels in coming years a lot of microorganisms such as species of cyanobacteria and green algae have been identified able to generate hydrogen through biochemical pathways these organisms require a smaller footprint and less water for cultivation and are more efficient at converting solar energy into chemical energy with this overview let's understand what is biohydrogen biohydrogen is advanced gaseous biofuel which makes the use of living biomass or organisms for the production in simple words hydrogen that is produced by a biological mechanisms in living organisms is called biohydrogen 
biological production of hydrogen gas is carried out generally using microorganisms in an aqueous environment at a specific temperature ph and other environmental conditions now moving on to the major metabolic pathways used for biohydrogen production as outlined in this figure on your screen broadly classified into two categories the photobiological process through which biohydrogen is produced via direct and indirect photolysis and fermentation which is further divided into dark fermentation and photo fermentation let's elaborate on each of these processes first the dark fermentation which is light independent process and involves heterotrophic microbes green algae rich in carbohydrates are the most common organisms that produce biohydrogen through this process the microbes act on the preferred substrates such as glucose sucrose starch and cellulose and undergo anaerobic fermentation in the absence of light to produce molecular hydrogen and carbon dioxide as shown in this diagram on the slide dark fermentation involves conversion of complex matter into simpler products through hydrolysis these simple compounds then undergo acidification in the presence of enzymes by fermentative bacteria the acid products are further transformed into biohydrogen and acetate through a process called acetogenesis next is photo fermentation which refers to fermentation process that employs sunlight as an energy source instead of sugar compared to dark fermentation photo fermentation is considered a better process to produce biohydrogen in this method non sulfur photosynthetic bacteria capture the light energy and convert the organic acids into hydrogen and carbon dioxide in the absence of oxygen the main enzyme responsible for photo fermentation is atp dependent nitrogenase which requires an optimum temperature of 30 to 35 degree centigrade and a neutral ph in addition there is an emerging bioprocessing technology using integration of dark and photo fermentation to increase the yield of biohydrogen and efficiency of the process this slide illustrates the two step sequential or integrated fermentative hydrogen production which exhibits that the organic acid produced during the dark fermentation can be further used to produce hydrogen by using photoheterotrophic bacteria now let's focus on biophotolysis which involves the dissociation of water molecules to form hydrogen and oxygen in biological organisms under solar radiation this process occurs via two routes indirect and direct in indirect photolysis electrons produced due to catabolism of endogenous substrates are used in hydrogen production whereas direct biophotolysis utilizes the electrons produced from photooxidation of water in chloroplast This diagram explains that how solar energy is used by photosystem 2 to split water into oxygen energy and a reducing agent in direct biophotolysis. This agent is then used to produce hydrogen by reducing protons in the presence of hydrogenase enzyme without generating harmful greenhouse gases. If you look at the reaction on this slide this process also simultaneously releases oxygen into the atmosphere. Green microalgae and cyanobacteria undergo direct biophotolysis to produce biohydrogen. The process of direct photolysis is a sustainable process. However, the pathway still needs to overcome many challenges to become a good and feasible option for biohydrogen production. On the other hand, indirect biophotolysis is performed by some species of non-heterocystis cyanobacteria under anoxic conditions. as shown in the diagram it occurs in two separate stages coupled through carbon dioxide fixation and involves separation of hydrogen and oxygen evolution reactions in the aerobic phase the algae grows by converting solar energy into chemical energy but when there is shortage of oxygen electron transport chain stops functioning and the electrons released through catabolism of the endogenous substrate for example glycogen are transferred to hydrogenase enzyme resulting in the formation of biohydrogen so this sums up all the major methods of biohydrogen production even though biohydrogen production has increasingly exhibited promising results 
current biohydrogen technologies face two major challenges low yield and high production cost global research is moving forward in scaling up to the industrial level and developing biohydrogen as a renewable energy source to alleviate stresses due to ghg emissions and depleting fossil fuel resources one thing is certain that if we want hydrogen to become a more sustainable and green source of energy the production of biohydrogen will need more attention as it fits very well with the concept of net zero this brings us to the end of this presentation there is lot more to talk about biohydrogen in the next video i will discuss the recent developments going on in other areas of sustainable bioenergy i would be very happy to answer any question please feel free to write in the comment box thank you for watching the video so attentively stay connected thank you once again for your time and choosing bioshots